Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. Today we're discussing the new update which dropped last night, in England that is. Um, so we've got some interesting information about what's coming and what we have added to the game based on some of the player feedback. So thank you for downloading the latest version of Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. We're so grateful to you for your passion and continued support of our game. The entire team is hard at work on new stories, new features, and tons of exciting improvements. Take a look. So we're going to get new stories. Obviously, chapters are coming. They're not in this update. Uh, sadly, we don't get year four. But they've added some new features. And in the horizon, tons of exciting improvements to come. I'm interested. Available now. Play gobstones, enjoy a meal, and more. You can now level up your friendships between, further between adventures by spending time with your favorite companions. This is something I asked for literally like four episodes ago in the storyline. I think I said the only problem with the friend system is that you don't, you can't invest in certain people. Like I've been on a lot of dates so far with I call them dates. I've been with Penny, building up my friendship with her because. She's the one I want to play gobstones and get to know over a meal, it's a giant sandwich. But it means that you can invest in the characters you want. Like, I really want to know Barnaby Lee. I'm not too bothered about Tulip. I'm not big on Tulip. She's all right, but I feel like she could betray us at any minute. Barnaby? Nah, he's loyal. He's loyal to us. So, and you can also discover unique story moments along the way. No energy required. So in the games, Gobstones, uh, Enjoy a Meal and uh, Enjoy a Butter Beer with friends, we can actually learn more about the other characters, which is kind of cool because I clearly don't know Penny at all because I was getting some wrong answers and I'm terrible at potions. Coming soon though, attendance has never been so rewarding. For a limited time, collect stars in classes to earn special rewards to represent your house outside of class. Keep playing for more exciting challenges. So that's coming soon. Attendance has never been so rewarding. Okay, so for a limited time we'll collect stars in classes, like we do anyway, to earn special rewards to represent your house outside of class. So whether those special rewards are at extra house points, don't really need them, I'm way ahead. Uh, keep playing for more exciting challenges. We'll, we'll find out in, in, I don't even think it should be too long until we find out what that is. More content also, magical features, and furry friends will be coming soon. We already knew pets were going to be added to the game. We heard about that in some of the uh, talks done by Jam City. They'd said that pets is going to be on the list of things to do. So they're working on that. Thank you again. And we hope to continue to enjoy your time at Hogwarts. So when this update came out, new encounter unlocked play gobstones. I was thinking, yes, we can play an actual mini game. Uh, actually, I've been wanting to play gobstones, not in the way that we've done so far in our encounters. Just checking to see if there's any new items. There's not. Um, and... I'll be honest, I'm kind of a little bit disappointed with the fact that you're not actually playing it. These are all encounters that work the same as the, the dialogue when you're talking to somebody. But the main focus for me is that it is some way that you can build friendship outside of class that is free to play. Yes, it has a time run after, but I think that's the bit I'm focused on. That You're not really playing gobstones, are you? You're just finding out a bit more about your character or answering some some interesting questions to improve your wizarding knowledge. Rowan and Ben, as you can see, are Max because they're the people that have taken on a lot of quests and things with. We have Barnaby. So I want to build Barnaby up because he's one of my favorite characters. <laughs> so we get to play in the same kind of talking dialogue. They all have different levels in terms of difficulty. Uh, so Barnaby, I think, is one of the hard ones. I'm terrible at these, by the way. <laughs> Let's play Shiny. Let's not worry about the rules. Barnaby absolutely hates that. He apparently is a stickler for the rules. Let's join the Gobstones Club. We founded the Gobstones Club. Yeah, yeah. Now I'm starting to think more like Barnaby Lee. So it doesn't take too much, as all my stats are 20, 20, 20, so it doesn't take much at all to... Um, build mine, my, my diamonds to pass. I think I, with one of the classes, I think against Penny, I completed in two moves. Right. <laughs> Don't try to confuse me. 
just ask if you have questions I think I went for. But the right answer right here is, how does this liquid smell? Oh, that's, it's meant to be like, how does this liquid smell? Pow! And I've gone with just ask if you have questions. Yeah. I only got one turn left though. So Barnaby is quite hard to pass if you've got quite low stats. What if I lose? You'll get expelled. Oh no, you'll have another chance. I'm, I suck at this so far. You'll turn into a doxy. That was the correct answer. And so once complete, you get a timer. Uh, it seems like the timers are different. And then the next encounter is unlocked, a meal with a friend. And it works exactly the same way, uh, but it gives me an opportunity to start working on Penny. This is my first date with Penny, officially. You need to know your potions to find the Curse Vault, Shiny. Let me test your, let's test your knowledge. What's in Polyjuice Potion? Right, I've, I've clicked Missile Bow Berries on twice, on two separate potion quizzes. I suck at potions. Clearly. So it's not a massive update. They're only implementing things that they kind of already have in the game. Uh, so that's probably why they've released this first. It probably was something that they made quite easily. Probably not that easy me saying that. Um, but for me, I'm just focusing on that friend progression system. They've added something that does allow you to collect those rewards of gems and energy from having those encounters. The final encounter being drinking butterbeer with a fellow friend. And I gave Tulip a chance. See, her stats are higher, so it's going to be harder. But I do like the fact that you they you asked questions about, you know, where did you meet? I actually got that right for Tulip, but I didn't get it right for Penny. So I, re I really feel like these dates with Penny aren't going well. I keep answering her questions wrong. Maybe we're not compatible. I'll keep trying. Really good to hear that they are making changes. They're listening to player feedback. So a lot of people complaining about the energy system and wanting to do something outside of that. So they've added that, which is good because it shows they're listening and going to make future changes. So if you do want something different in the game and you're not happy the way it is at the moment, send a support message to them. They will clearly listen and make changes. And just from experience from the beta, they did listen to a lot of things. This game was not like it was in, in the very first beta. It was nowhere near up to scratch. By the way, if you have this side quest stuck on and you keep completing it, it's not disappearing, don't worry, that's not just happening to you. Just checked on Facebook, it's happening to a ton of people. So the Gobstones has a 16 hour cooldown. The Great Hall Meal with a Friend has a 10 hour cooldown. And I believe the Butterbeer has a similar 16 hour cooldown. Don't know why they, they are different. Probably because you don't want to drink too much Butterbeer. Because if you've tried it, it's, it's pretty goddamn sickly. It's nice. You can only drink so much of it. So let me know what you guys think about it. Are you happy with it? Are you a little bit disappointed? Uh, I think we're going to see in the next update that's going to be where something big comes in. I imagine they've got different teams working on different things. And so that could work quite well for us because we might get regular updates of little things here and there. And I prefer that sometimes to like one big drop where the updates, you know, got all the stuff in it. It's quite nice to have something added every week to the game that you can play. In other news, Jam City posted on Twitter uh, some stats about Hogwarts Mystery so far. So it shows the most popular houses are you know, Gryffindor's in first, Slytherin second, Third is Ravenclaw and four is Huth fourth is Hufflepuff. That doesn't surprise me. I think that's generally what I've seen in the uh, Harry Potter community. Harry Potter Hogwarts mystery launched just one month ago, but Hogwarts new students have already proven themselves a studious lot. Here are the current player facts. So we've got the most powerfully popular house. 225 million spells have been cast. From Lumos to Expelliarmos, players learn all kinds of spells to add to their arsenals in Harry Potter Hogwarts mystery. 3.1 billion house points have been earned overall. Players have earned many house points by completing activities in the game as they work their way towards winning the house cup. And 35 million stitch sticks have been fetched in the game. Fang has fetched across in the castle grounds and re-energized many students 35 million times in, in total. And then Interesting stats on what kind of students most people are. When asked by Professor Flitwick in the game, if a player will choose to follow the rules, uh, they've picked, 74% have picked, I will follow the rules. I'm a rebel too, 8%, and I haven't decided, 
people sitting on the fence, 18%. So we're either all uh, really obedient students or we're just really good liars because let's face it, we haven't followed the rules. Every time somebody said, don't go near the curse fault, we're like, okay, okay. Guys, how do we enter the curse vault? It's quite a nice little addition to add on Twitter. So thank you for that, Jam City. Okay, well, that's all for this episode. Just for... Okay. Okay, well that's all for this episode. Thought I'd just put something out on the update because I was pretty psyched when it came around. Let me know your thoughts. That's all for this one. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future content. That's all from me. See you soon.